When you listen to my voice, you are listening to the voice of a man who is absolutely confident that there's not a star in the sky that you see is real. You're looking at a very elaborate, multi-tiered hologram. It's a light show. I believed all my life I was looking into the heavens. As a child, I had a telescope. I believed all these, but after reading 20, 26 years in prison, reading the scientific reports and all the anomalies that have been documented and absolutely ignored because they, they, they defy the paradigms that are presented to us, there's no way that those are stars. Now knowing what I know about the Phoenix phenomenon and how the variable stars all go into chaos and start emitting all kinds of bright lights and flashing together in unison and harmony during Phoenix episodes, and, and for those of you who just asked those Phoenix questions, Vapor Canopy is a Phoenix question, and so is the well, last time Phoenix hit America. I'm going to address those too, because oh, we, need to, we need to have an understanding that we're on the same page. When I say Phoenix phenomenon, I have to say phenomenon because what I have uncovered is 138 perfect, precise periodicity of this phenomenon. It isn't the same every time. Sometimes there's a huge horn blast from the sky. Like clockwork, it comes. It's deafening. It is so loud, it vibrates the entire world below it. And it's not, it, it's not even as big. The horn blast isn't hemispheric. It's very highly localized. However, people, literally, people and animals and buildings literally sink into the ground. The vibrations, there's, it's almost like the Philadelphia experiment. Creating invisibility was, was, was creating such a high resonance that physical objects basically vibrated out of the visible light spectrum and into each other. They couldn't control it, so people were stuck in the metal. In the Philadelphia experiment, some U.S. sailors died some horrific deaths because the human body cannot resonate as high as metals can. And when they brought that resonance up in, that sh in the ship's decking so high, biological materials were still physical because they weren't vibrating. Uh, it just didn't happen. The ship literally disappeared in the 5.5% of the electromagnetic spectrum that we can see. And the reason it did is because it was vibrating at such a high frequency that, that it was the light couldn't bounce off of it. It was still there. But the atoms, molecules, everything that makes up makes up the, the, the metal of the ship basically became amorphous to where heavier, denser objects could pass into them. And that's what happened. When they realized what was going on, they shut the experiment down. They created dissonance in by using electricity instantly. And in the Philadelphia experiment, what happened after that was horrific. So people were embedded in steel decking. People in the in the rooms below deck were embedded in the floors. It's uh, there's a lot of a lot of terrible stuff with the Philadelphia experiment. But the Phoenix